But slow and steady may be what wins the race for contestants in Nisswa's 60th annual turtle races as the town tradition continues to make turtle tracks. Intern Olivia Armstrong has more. Whether it be new racers or racers that have returned year after year, community members are coming out of their shells to celebrate Nisswa's 60th annual turtle races. We are celebrating our 60th year of turtle racing here in Nisswa and expect bigger crowds than we've ever had before. When you register, you pay $5 to race turf. You get a souvenir button, a chance to win some prizes. And part of that money goes to their group that they're uh, doing charity work for. Now, before the race, I always like to ask, how many people here uh, raced when you were young and are now bringing your kids to race? And a bunch of hands will go up. We come every summer and we're from Florida. For how much interest these races generate, these turtles have become heroes in a half shell for local businesses. So we do it every Wednesday all through the summer, and it's it brings a lot of a lot of people into town. About twenty five thousand people come into town over twelve Wednesdays, so it's it's pretty amazing for all of the retailers, the restaurants, everybody benefits. These races encourage people of all ages to join the fun some arriving with a personal strategy. My turtle was balled up at the beginning, so I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought that he wasn't going to go until I, until I tickled him a little, and then I sprayed some water on him, Then he just started going. <laughs> Reporting in Nisswa, Olivia Armstrong, Lakeland News. All the proceeds raised from the annual turtle races go towards a local therapeutic horsemanship organization, Mounted Eagles. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.